title fight between Jorge Masvidal and CM Punk. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, C.M. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jorge. Game Red must be done. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie for Just stay back. Oh, shoot! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Boom! Big knee. Oh. 
And they set it. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Oh, big elbow. And now he's got that tie clinch. Muay Thai Plum. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by CM Punk. Oh, that's going to soften him up. That's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big knee to the body. I mean, this guy is really focused on those. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. A little cut below that left eye. Side control now. And now Masvidal's right back to the full mount. Twenty seconds to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Round two, straight ahead. some of the highlights, it must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Good shots, you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Got the single power tie. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice punch there by Gabriel. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, big elbow. He's right. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Back to the feet. Oh, collar tie. Oh, Late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nice and deep. He loaded up this right hand, too. Oh, big left hook there. Back to the feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight.
Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and still. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 